Audra, 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 Audra McDonald. Audra McDonald. Audra McDonald. Audra McDonald. Audra. Audra McDonald. Anything she does is magic. This goddess of a performer. Audra McDonald. Audra McDonald. It's always fun watching Audra perform. And that's how it goes when a woman loves a man. Anything that my wife does is exciting. She just is one of those actors that everybody feels privileged to, to watch her work and we all feel privileged to be living when she's doing her work and just anything she does is, is a special privilege. So it takes place in March of 1959, a few months before Billy dies, and she's in a club in Philadelphia and uh, she's on her last legs but she uh, gives an amazing performance and through the singing of the songs you learn about her life and consequently the life and the uh, history of black America from the first half of the last century. So it's, uh, it's very broad and very specific at the same time. She embodies the characters so fully that you almost forget that it's a, a drama, you know, that there's a play going on. And her singing is so exquisite. I mean, it's just like gorgeous. And she's so gorgeous. You know, we sort of look at it as just trying to um, tell her story and, and tell some truths that went on in her life, which um, towards the end of her life she was looking back quite a bit and telling anybody who would listen, quite honestly. And so um, I think that's what we were trying to do and I think what Lainey tried to capture, what he, you know, the story he heard of what he saw in those last few months of her life. So. She didn't try and please, you know what I mean? She would just sing the way she felt. And it basically was that you had to lean in, and audiences did, and she didn't compromise her style to be popular. She's like, this is the way I sing, I sing how I feel, and this is my style. I'm not going to sing fast, this is what I do. And uh, people dug it, <laughs> you know?